Conjugate acids and bases. The transfer of a proton in Bronsted-Lowry acid-base reactions. Let's start by reviewing and expanding some definitions. A Bronsted-Lowry acid is a proton donor, where the proton is the hydrogen ion, H+. A Bronsted-Lowry base is a proton, or H+, acceptor. When a Bronsted-Lowry acid donates its proton to a Bronsted-Lowry base, what we then have are called a conjugate acid and a conjugate base. The conjugate acid is the particle produced when a Bronsted-Lowry base accepts a proton. The conjugate base is the particle left over when a Bronsted-Lowry acid donates a proton. Here is the structure of ammonia. Note the unshared pair of electrons. When ammonia interacts with water, a hydrogen ion is transferred from the water to the ammonia, attaching itself to the unshared pair of electrons on the ammonia, like this, leaving behind an OH- ion. So the reaction becomes NH3 plus H2O in equilibrium with NH4 plus plus OH minus. The water molecule acts as a Bronsted acid because it is donating the H plus. And the ammonia acts as a Bronsted base because it accepts the H plus. The NH4 plus produced is the conjugate acid of the NH3 what is produced when the base adds an H+. Plus. And the OH- minus is the conjugate base of the water, what is left behind when the acid donates the H+. Plus. Here is another example. In a similar way, when an acid like HCl, hydrochloric acid, interacts with water, the acid donates its H+, plus to the water. The H2O is the Bronsted base, and the HCl is the Bronsted acid. The products are H3O+, plus, the conjugate acid of water, and Cl-, minus, the conjugate base of HCl. The overall reaction is HCl plus H2O in equilibrium with Cl- and H3O+.